Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. All right, so I don't know if you guys have seen these yet or not, but uh, they came out towards the end of last year. I think they're the Shelly One Smart Switches. Um, you know, it's similar to what would be like a Sonoff Basic. So this video today is going to show you how to flash the Shelly One with Tasmoda Custom Firmware. Similar to how we would uh, flash the Sonoff Basic. So here is the Shelly 1 and Shelly 2 page off of the uh, Sonoff Tasmoda GitHub page. Just to kind of give you some information on how to flash them and all that kind of stuff like that. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Uh, for starters, we're just going to do a little side-by-side uh, -side comparison of the Sonoff Basic and the uh, Shelly 1. Once we uh, do that, we will uh, download the required software that we need to be able to flash our uh, Shelly 1. Once that's done, we'll wire up the USB serial adapter so that we uh, can connect it to the computer. After that, we will flash the Tesmoda software. And then, of course, lastly, once we're done flashing it, we'll just kind of confirm that it did get flashed and everything is working. So let's get started. So I bought the uh, Shelly one. Actually, I bought a pack of two of them on Amazon, a little over 20 bucks, as you can see here. So it's a little bit more expensive than, uh, than a Sonoff Basic. But to me, honestly, you're paying for the size difference. The Shelly one is about the size of like two Oreo cookies stacked on top of each other. It is ridiculous. In fact, whenever my package came in in the mail and I opened it up, it had one box in it. I thought I was missing uh, one of the Shelly ones just because I, there was only one box and it was such a small box. How in the world could we have fit both of them in there? Nonetheless, it comes in just a single box here. There's two Shelly ones, as you can see here. I'm going to line them up next to the uh, Sonoff Basic. Much smaller than the Sonoff Basic. I mean, the, the hardest thing about uh, the Sonoff was that you pretty much had to take it out of the case in order to be able to fit it into a switch box. Uh, obviously, this makes things a lot easier. You shouldn't even have to remove the Shelly 1 from its casing. You can leave it all in there and wire everything up, flash it. All of it can be done without taking it out of the case. If you're looking for ease of use, then I definitely think you should give Shelly 1 a chance. So, I mean, obviously you're paying a little bit more money for the Shelly 1, but if you've been having trouble getting them to fit inside of a switch box with all the wiring and everything else, uh, it's definitely worth giving Shelly 1 a try. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, so here we are on my Windows machine. We need to download uh, the software and stuff that we're gonna use to do the flashing. So uh, we're gonna go with ESP Easy today. And I'll have the link to the GitHub page uh, in the description below, but basically go here and click on releases. Uh, then you just download the latest version. Once that's downloaded, then we're gonna head over to uh, Tesmoda's GitHub page and download the uh, latest version there. So I'm looking for sonoff.bin. I'm just gonna download that as well. All right. So now we are ready to uh, wire up our USB serial adapter. So here's the pinout for the uh, Shelly One, and this is off of their main web page. But as you can see, uh, you can access everything without even taking the cover off, which is awesome. You have your ground, your GPIO zero, your 3.3 uh, volt power, and your receive and transmit. In order to put the Shelly 1 in flashing mode, you basically have to run a wire from the GPIO 0 to the ground. And I'll kind of show you that here in just a second. Here's my setup here. I have all the uh, wires to the USB adapter and uh, got them all ran over to the Shelly 1 plus the one additional wire that we will have to uh, touch to the ground as we're plugging it in to put it in flashing mode. 
So I'm just going to basically touch it to the uh, ground while I'm plugging it into my laptop. All right, it's powered on. It should be in flashing mode now. Let's go ahead and jump over to our Windows machine and give it a shot. All right, so we're going to click on Flash ESP8266. And then basically you need to know what your COM port is that your USB serial adapter is plugged into. Uh, if you don't know that, you can go over to uh, Device Manager and look at the COM ports. As you can see, mine is COM3. And then Firmware, I'm just going to select uh, Sonoff.bin. That's the one I downloaded earlier. I have it in the root of this uh, folder here. So as you can see, there it is. It's in the same directory. So we have that one selected. Once all that's in there, we're going to go ahead and hit Flash. And of course, eventually it pops up the command prompt, and you can see it's starting to flash here. It will take a little while for it to uh, finish flashing. We'll kind of fast forward it through here, but as you can see, it's uh, it actually goes pretty quick, so it won't take it long to flash it. It should come up in the end and say uh, flashing successful, I think, or flashing done. Flash complete. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And... Um, Move on to the last step. All right, so uh, it's currently still in flashing mode. So in order to get it out of flashing mode, we have to just unplug it and plug it back in. Once we do that and it's powering up, we can jump back over to a machine here and should be able to connect to it via Wi-Fi. So as you can see here, uh, Sonoff dash whatever, that's going to be the ad hoc wireless network that it creates by default. So if we click on that and it should jump up there and uh, basically allow us to put in a uh, SSID of whatever wireless network we want to connect it to. That's it, guys. This thing is flashed with Tasmoda firmware. Now we can basically uh, add it to our wireless network and configure it everything should work perfectly almost too easy uh, like I said it's awesome that you don't have to crack open the case of the Shelly one you can do everything as it's already set up basically plug in the pins and just put it in flashing mode and go to town right there the size of it makes it awesome because it'll it'll fit inside of a switch box with all the wires you won't have to uh, do any special modifications for that either definitely think it is worth the additional money for the size of the unit and the ease of, of how all this works let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video so of course we did a side-by-side -side comparison of the Sonoff basic and the uh, Shelly one once we did that, we downloaded our required software that we used for flashing the Shelly 1. After that, we wired up our USB serial adapter. Once that was done, then of course we flashed the Tasmoda software on there. And lastly, I just showed you that it actually did get flashed on there. You know, we, uh, we saw it uh, show the ad hoc wireless network, which would give us the ability to finish configuring it, set it up as we needed to. That's the end of the video, guys. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.